Hey guys, how you doing? So in this video, I'm going to help you to understand the AI job market. There's two basic AI job categories that we can, uh, that you can apply to. So the first category is to actually build an AI. This is the advanced area where you're going to need a lot of math. You're going to probably going to be working with Python. You might be working with SQL, maybe working with C++. I mentioned the languages, although they're really secondary in importance, but a lot of people identify with languages. But you, when you're, so we're talking about the AI research. When you're developing AIs, you're developing uh, learning language models, the LLMs. I'm not an expert in AI, although I have friends who are in the business. I have one friend who's working at one of the fangs doing some advanced AI research. Another friend of mine has an AI-based business, which we're going to get into in a second. And another friend of mine, their main business is not AI, but they use AI to support their main product. So again, one AI job is to develop the AIs. And I think those jobs, by the way, are going to become less and less um, dominant over the years. Although, don't get me wrong, there's a huge opportunity there. But that requires advanced levels in terms of math and so on. As far as I understand. Now, on the flip side, where I think most of the AI jobs are going to be are the implementers. People like my friend who has that company where he implements different AIs and integrates it into uh, business, his clients, business processes. So his job is to be aware of the AI landscape and, know, and to know how to implement those AIs effectively to solve particular business problems. In that situation, you have to be a developer. Well, no, I shouldn't say have to be. Well, probably. Being a developer is a huge asset. And I think that a lot of these AI implementations, these AI services, are going to be delivered primarily through web apps and secondarily through mobile applications. So native iOS, native Android. But again, primarily through web app. So in that situation, you're going to have to know the web, the web stack, HTML, CSS, JavaScript, uh, backend language, whether it be uh, C Sharp, Java, PHP, Python. And then you have to understand the whole environment in terms of how to implement uh, an AI. So the AI will be implemented or expressed through an API, just like you might access Google Maps through an API. So there'll be certain rules. Uh, anyway, we'll stop there. So those are the two job or business application for AI that I see right now. And so if you wanted to get into AI research, where, again, pay is super high, but you're probably going to need to have a deep background in mathematics and uh, other areas. Uh, whereas if you're an implementer, you still need a lot of uh, ability in terms of development, but you're much more of a traditional developer than you are otherwise, because you're just implementing some third-party ser service. So in that situation uh, where you leverage an AI, and it could be ChatGPT, it could be BARD, it could be, who knows, a whole bunch out there now. It could be uh, image editing services, which you could implement image ed editing or image produ producing AI that could be implemented. I'm not sure how, but it, it could be done. Anyhow, in that situation, you're much more of a traditional developer, which, for the record, I still believe is going to be the vast majority of jobs going forward. Um, and you're going to have to look at AI tools that you would implement in your traditional apps as just another, another technology, a new technology that could be implemented into traditional apps. So, for example, if you're building the first websites out there were just your basic static websites. Then they became a dynamic where they were hooked up to... Uh, Perl CGI or CCGI uh, implementation. And then it became progressively more advanced. Eventually, people started going from flat file databases to uh, rowing their own out to using a relational database. So they were using some third-party app, the database, implementing that into the website. So instead of a database, you might be, well, you're probably going to be always implementing some sort of database, but you're also be implementing an AI as well to do whatever that AI will do for you. It could be a chatbot, et cetera. So my friend and his business, they uh, leverage a whole bunch of AI tools, their own plus third party that they license. And they will take a bunch of information from a client uh, and then turn that into uh, a proper chatbot application. 
and implement it into uh, the client's business the client's business website or their own website through a portal. Depends on circumstances. So there you go. If you have any other questions about AI, you have any other discussions or something you think I've uh, that needs to be corrected, feel free to comment below. And uh, thanks for watching the video. Some people call me Steph. Other people call me Uncle Steph. My ex-girlfriend calls me something else. Anyway, uh, you can reach me at UncleSteph.com. I run a mentoring program and a boot camp. Very unique in the world. Uh, check it out. And I also have standalone courses as well. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.